Shouldn't people be getting the door for me or something? <laughs> Hi, girls. Hey. hey. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Just, just carry on. Just whatever, whatever you're doing. Just, just talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Okay. Everything's, everything's okay. Okay, great. I'm doing the Ted Turner story. I'm Ted. George Lowe, Space Ghost Pickups, 51204, greetings. 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 Greetings, friends. I don't know, I think I sound pretty good. Don't I sound pretty good? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Suckers. Suckers. <clears throat> Suckers. We, we got it? Thank you. We got a better chance of seeing God at this at the Serpent Turd restaurant. Right. Bill there? Did you say he hadn't made it yet? <sighs> How long are you gonna have to wait for him? Pixie and Dixie. Oh yeah. Okay, talk to you later. George. Oh really? I always go this way. Thanks for letting me get all the way up. Oh, excuse me. Hello. My lane. Thank you. Did you see sweatpants back there anywhere? Yeah, good. Yeah, I got sweatpants. World of physical therapy. Watch as I better myself. You better know Frank is Torquemada. Yeah, the Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, a little, a little tight, a little tight. There you go. Okay. Wait. <sighs> okay. There. Uh, that's a party in a can. Okay. Uh. Windpipe. <sighs> Frankie. <laughs> So Frank, let's do that little thing we were doing earlier. What Come on, cabbage patch. Cabbage patch with me. No? Okay. You know, he goes on vacation every other week. <laughs> and he tells me he's on business. You know, but then he then yeah, exactly. Yeah? Monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, by all means, sir, make everything as hard as you can on the merge. Thank you for that. Sanford and son out here with their water heaters getting in my way. Thank you, thank you, we appreciate that. The SS ship wagon driving by. Um, you know what, I have totally gone the wrong way. Oh, unbelievable. I get so lost, I've only lived here 15 years. Thank you for cutting out and stopping. All right, off you go. Boy, did I ever go. I went like 17 miles out of my way to get to this station. Hey, man. That's my friend Paul Kriegler. Is this a day in the life of George? It Paul? is. It is. This is my friend Paul Kriegler. If Hi. It, if it weren't for Paul, How are you? I'd be living under the overpass. Now we get ready to see my little love monkey at the front desk. Mm. Break me off a juicy piece of K. Mm-mm. K? Yeah. Come to daddy. They're with me. This is my friend Kay, or as I like to call her. Oh, oh please don't leave me with yummy. these people. No. <laughs> this is a uh, George's demo, his voiceover demo. 
George Lowe. KGB. Creamy beef rock gravy. It's the Big 98 WSIX. Starring Toby Keith. Thank you for helping me as always. Ladies and gentlemen, get a shot at Jim and I, because Jim is my pal. Keeps me from living under the overpass. Uh, ooh, wait, I have to do something before we leave. Back up against the chair. You know what I'm going to do. Okay, take it, take it like a man. I don't want to take it like I'm a man. I'm first. Come on, well, because you like it so much. WGSD. Oh, we're little, both on the phone. It's I a little thing. No, they're both on the phone. I have to be careful. It's a little thing I like to do with the girls called Wilbur the Love Goat. <laughs> the and you never know when Wilbur's going to drop by. Am I right, Kay, about that? Because Wilbur could just <laughs> drop in at any moment okay. and say, <laughs> they, they love Wilbur. Now, Angie is pretending to, to be on a very high-level business call. <laughs> so, so we'll just show Angie the respect she deserves by That's not right. intruding. On her space. Go ahead, Angie. Just okay. talk and do what you have to do now. I'm on hold. <laughs> if only you move like that at my place. <laughs> I just, I kid. I kid because I love. Uh, Aw, <laughs> he's retarded. Aw, he's retarded. Drive already. I command you. You'll see Jesus at Home Depot buying chlorine before you cut me off today. Rauschenberg and Rosenquist and all these guys around. It was torture for me because I could never buy anything. There you are. There it is. That's a, it's a, one of those heady moments. It's like, uh, this is Carrie. I've got to introduce my pal, Carrie Prisbola. Hi. She's the curator of contemporary art at the High Museum in Atlanta. I don't, e I don't even want to put you on the spot, but. You know, I mean, I've always kind of wondered what, what led you to it. I mean, well, I mean, that's, that's a hard question. Yeah, that's one of those hard questions. Don't, don't feel like you have to answer um, it either because you don't. No, but one of the things that strikes me about the piece as well is I, I've kind of designated what I call the, the Atlanta Obsessive Compulsive School. Cool. Where there's all these, you know, people who use all of these little lines and repeated shapes and over and over and usually on something really big uh -huh. so that it, it's that sort of thing where you can't imagine actually spending all of the time. It's a great way to... Uh, you know, forget that you have bills. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe pay them. These were completely accidental. I had saved the paper, mm -hmm. just thought, what am I going to do with it? And a buddy of mine had given me pencils one mm -hmm. year. He had had a slow year. Mm -hmm. Gave me a beautiful set of pencils. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it had been three or four years before it just finally connected in my mind that oh, I'm going to go and put a couple of giant circles on this thing. Did, did you get a real good... You took a lot of time with that, so I can show this to mom. You know, Oswald Schertner had that minimal little figure in there, and I'm, I was humbled, and you really put me in good company. And none of my friends, you know, are interested in coming down. I, I told my psychologist buddy, who's an art nut, huge J.B. Murray. We're sorry, and there's the gentleman or young lady who didn't want to let us in moments ago. Chewy back here is kicking it into light speed where there's no room left. Are you stupid? This is the worst part of every day, is, is just figuring out where these jerks are going. Look at Twinkie behind us. Look, look at how close Twinkie is. One inch off of me. That a girl, Twinkie. You mind running through Publix real quick? You sure? Run up there and get myself something for dinner. Somebody ain't putting no strawberries in these bad boys. Give me some delicious pretzels. That's the rear pads and rotors causing the car to shake. For those of you tuning in.
Shut up. Swish. Like living in a kennel. Yeah, I know. It's pretty opulent. This is part of the daily, the daily ritual here. Something came out last night was spooking them. They, uh, they didn't come get dinner. I don't know, man. I just have always fed squirrels. I love animals. Uh, you know, everybody else spends their time driving over them, so I try and lure them up here and feed them. Godfather. There's the Godfather. I'll leave the little chip there. He is. We're all out for a peanut. <laughs>